What up peeps, it's Filfo back in with another video and in this one I'll be showing you guys how to sequence your Volca, any type of Volca except for the Volca modular, uh, with your Yamaha QY sequencer. And so I've previously done a video on sequencing the Volca FM using my MPC 500. Uh, however, in this one we're going to be exploring the workflow of the QY sequencers. Now, there are many QY sequencers in the market. I personally have the QY300. Um, that is like the first semi-desktop, one of the like flagship models, I would say, before the 700 came out and before the, um, the addition to the XG sound sets. So unfortunately, with the QY300 and the models before it, uh, you are unable to edit the sounds or, or to synthesize sounds using the XG engine. This one only has a general MIDI engine. However, its sequencing uh, capabilities are still there and you can make a whole bunch of stuff with it. Uh, I really recommend this sequencer, let's say over um, a key step, for my opinion, but that's just the way that I work and make music. I understand that uh, people have different preferences and stuff like that. Uh, and also, I would maybe put this over the Beat Step as well, um, as in Beat Step Pro, because you're able to sequence like uh, polyphony with this one. Like let's say doing, uh, if, if I'm connecting a Korg Volca that has uh, three voice polyphony, I'm able to actually do chords and everything. And since this QY has chord progressions and chord changes that, it's, that can also be applied to it. So you can make pretty, pretty advanced sequences with it as well. That being said, um, let's uh, hop into this video. And I'll show you what it's all about. Hopefully with the contrast knob right over here, um, you're able to see more, but I have my hand up uh, just in case so we can see a little bit of the screen. I know it's not so clear, but anyways, um, what you basically want to do when it comes to the QY sequencers is that right now I have my mini track for my um, for my Invoca FM to mini channel 11 and so once you're okay with that you press the record button and for my first track I have nothing on it so if I just press play there's nothing gonna be playing over here so Right now on the QI, what you want to do is go to your output and for your track and MIDI number, you want that to be the same. And let's say if you want um, there just to be the voice of your vocal or the voice of your synth or whatever, you just want to go to your voice section and then over here, uh, you'll see the voice number will be on the right corner and what you can do is go up to your into your number pad section and just type in 145 it'll go to the end I'll just say off so once I'm triggering the keyboard right over here <laughs> basically building uh, a pattern. Why not? So let's go to, let's actually go to the phrase section. Okay, we'll be, we'll be creating a user phrase right now. 
um, and in the QY300 you have um, on just the main hard drive itself you can create up to a hundred user phrases um, now I just want to create a user phrase using hopefully no voice so I, I actually don't know if someone knows how to do this please uh, let me know um, but let's see I want to build a sequence in a, in a user phrase but I want to use the MIDI channel to correspond with the channel that's on the Hammond I mean not the Hammond <laughs> as on the Volca FM there's in my knowledge there's no way to do that so what I could do is let's say let's just record let's just record um, yeah like uh, so we can just punch that in in real time Okay, so just did an A minor chord, and so let's go back to pattern, and let's just, and if I go to patch over here, if I go to actually output, so channel 3 is the channel that I'll play my Volca at. So if I go to voice, and instead of this pick a bass I go to just turn it off but I go to the patch and then I want my user style 33 oops Okay, I have put that in track one by, uh, by mistake. Um, okay, let's just go to undo. Undo patch. All right, let's go to patch. Track three. I'll go to user 33. <laughs>
So the best part about the QY300 sequencer is that you already have a lot of preset rhythms and styles that you can experiment and tweak. Um, however, there are a lot of user patterns that you can use, but I think the most uh, beneficial feature of this sequencer is the ability to do on the fly um, chord progressions and changes to your stuff. So if you knew, know a bit of music theory and um, you're able to, let's say, write a sequence in G major, uh, A minor, whatever it is, you can then transpose that sequence to any scale you would like. I think the sounds will start to be a lot more full if, let's say, you have a sequencer like this with mul multiple sound modules. Oh, people in other studios have a lot of rack mount synths and stuff like that and uh, if you have let's say a MIDI box splitter and assign um, each of like your synths to at least 16 different channels that could be done um, however if you're writing patterns in the pattern mode uh, you will be able to uh, use basically the only eight tracks in that case. Uh, however, you can still make a full arrangement with eight tracks. Uh, that's no problem. And like wh how you go about patching in the sounds and everything, I'll show you uh, right away actually. Over here, you have eight tracks. Um, and then afterwards at the bottom you would see let's say effect output voice patch save and load uh, let me just go to main B I'll make a new um, I'll make a new patch so let's say you go to patch right over here track this corresponds to the measures and this corresponds to the amount of tracks so if you go all the way down you see you have eight tracks um, so right now, let's say track one, I want my drums, so I'll put in uh, an already pre-made rhythm, let's say 8 beat pop A, um, and for number two, I want to, I want to, I want to put in a bass pattern, so I can just do pop. 8 beat pop A2. And for this one, I want to just put a, a user pattern. Um, and I'll go back to 33. The one that we made. Um, and let's put some guitar ballad type thing in here. Uh, and then afterwards, you could press exit. So we have all of our patches. Um, and now, excuse me, and now we're in A minor right over here. So if I just play it, you'll hear everything out at once. So you can see how basically by using this keyboard over here, you're able to type in your different uh, chord measures and signatures. And from there, you're able to, let's say, sequence um, your different chord changes onto a track later. So um, by, let's say, you have this pattern right over here, pattern 22 
and you want to go to your song and let's see if I want to choose um, so yeah I used all these songs already <laughs> uh, okay let me just clear this all right, let me listen to it first So you can potentially uh, put your your patterns into this part of the of the sequence, and then afterwards uh, you can sequence them out accordingly, going to the pattern and chord change um, sections on the song mode. What I also enjoy about the QY three hundred sequencer is that. The fact that there is a song mode and things nowadays actually lack that feature. You know, there are a lot of samplers, sequencers and stuff that don't have a song mode. So it, especially if you want to make like minor changes um, within the track using the step uh, record feature, I think that's like really key and it's really good because sometimes we're not always as fast as we think we are. Um, typing in note inputs at the same time so um, if you feel as though you want more precision over your sequencing then I do really recommend this device with your other synthesizers and stuff like that so if you have learned anything within this video and uh, are interested in seeing more QY300 stuff Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit me, uh, send me a comment and a like, and uh, let me know what you want to see next. Or if you have any questions, please hit me up, and uh, yeah, I'll answer it to the best of my abilities. So, with that being said, peace.